Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm going to show you 13 examples of ByteDance Seadream 4.0 image generator. I'm including the prompts and guides so you can check this out yourself. I'm gonna leave the link to this article down in the description. So if you wanna check it out yourself, go ahead, check it out. In case you don't know, ByteDance just released a new image generation model called Seadream 4.0 and it's pretty freaking incredible what, can, what it can do. People are calling it the Nano Banana Killer because it rivals the quality, sometimes even better than Nano Banana. So for this example, this is the input image and someone asked, or the example that they use is generate different angles from this image. And these are the different angles that it was able to produce. This is the input image and they asked it to create packaging bags, hats, cards, wristbands. And this is what it produced. Wow, if you look at it, it's just incredible. The quality, the texture, the logo, it just kept it, the colors, it just kept it on tack. Yeah, I'll leave the description for this below too, so you can check it out. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay Hernandez, founder of Jay-Z Creates. We help brands and creators stay ahead of the curve by diving deep into the latest AI tools, trends, and techniques. If you're into AI-powered creativity, you're in the right place. Okay, so for this first example, I took five different images from stock websites and put them together in Photoshop. And I gave the prompt of a woman in yellow wearing headphones holding her skateboard. She is crouching down, posing in front of the camera while her dog sits next to her at a skate park surrounded by people. And this is what it produced. Pretty freaking incredible, right? I mean, take a look at the dog. It's the same. If you take a look at the woman, her face is the same. And then the skateboard, it's exactly the same as well. And then the background, it pretty much just followed my prompt. I did another try. I asked it to do it with a fish eye lens this time. And this was able, able to produce this. Her eye, whoops, her eye is looking a little bit weird. Uh, and I used uh, Fal AI for this. So in Fal AI, you can upscale this and that's going to fix her eye. So that shouldn't be an issue. But I mean, it followed the prompt that I gave it, which is a fish eye lens, worm's eye view. So this is the um, output that it created. And it's just incredible what it can do. Really amazing, amazing work. This next example, I took two characters from two different stock websites and then I drew some stick figures in the middle of how I want them to pose. And then I wrote, make the characters fight according to the pose drawing. They are fighting in a volcano surrounded by lava. And this is the result. This is really incredible because the characters are very consistent. The clothing is very consistent. The only thing I saw was that was a little bit weird was the, <clears throat> the sword is kind of like going through her or behind her but i mean that's minimal compared to the rest of the whole image and it got the volcano right it got pretty much everything right so i'm pretty impressed by this and as you can see it followed the uh, the character consistency very very well so that's that's it's just an incredible job for this next one i just took this regular image of tokyo and i told it turn it into an epic sunset scene with godzilla roaming around the city and this is what it produced. Nice, really, really nice. So it got the sunset, it got Godzilla on there. And yeah, I mean, like, take a look at these buildings on the right. They're pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same angle, the same picture, it's just sunset. And then I gave it another prompt. I said, turn this into a nighttime scene with Godzilla wrecking havoc. The city in chaos, helicopters flying, lights flashing. And this is what it produced. <laughs> this is great. I mean, besides the the ambulance being on the roof it followed which doesn't make sense but it's still maybe they're in the future or something it followed my prompt exactly like the buildings are being dis destroyed there's helicopters godzilla's wrecking havoc it's it's a pretty fun image and it's really really awesome it, that it followed my prompt like that so i was really happy with this image it's really great uh for this next example i took this regular image of this model she's just posing on top of a stone and I asked it, make a fish eye overhead view of this scene. And this is what it produced. Pretty, pretty incredible. And again, her face is a little bit wonky, but you know, you can upscale this image and it's going to fix the face and her teeth, by the way, are a little bit weird. <laughs> but the fish eye lens is pretty great, even though it's a little bit weird. It's not truly a fish eye lens because it's a little bit dis distorted. But I mean, come on, overall, this is a really great image. Mm -hmm. And then I asked it to make an ultra wide angle shot of the scene. Take it from a worm's eye view. And this was the result. Of course, her face is messed up because these were being output at 1280 by 720 through Fal AI. Uh, and they have an image upscaler, which, you know, you, you shouldn't have a problem upscaling these images and making them look better. But I mean, come on, look at the stone at the bottom. It got the design of the stone, the little circular designs at the bottom. If, if I take a look at the original image, you can see that design at the bottom there as well. So it followed the prompt correctly. And 
yeah, I think it's just another great image. This next one is one of my favorite examples that I was able to cr create. So I took this image of this regular girl. She's wearing a baseball hat, a purse, a jacket. And I asked it, a fashion mood board collage surround the portrait with cutouts of the individual items the model is wearing. Add, he add handwritten notes and sketches in the playful marker style font and include the name of each item in English. And this was the result. Isn't this amazing? Oh my God. <laughs> like if I were to do this myself in Photoshop, it would take me two to three hours at least. Not even. I, I mean, I would probably have to write that lettering myself and take a picture of it. And I don't know, but just uh, it was able to cut the take all the articles from her, put it in a cutout style with white thick borders and write in a handwritten font the label of each clothing. It's just incredible. And this was done in 30 seconds. This is amazing. This really blew me away. And this is one of my favorite generations that I was able to do with, with Seed Dream. This is just amazing, amazing. In this next example, I asked it to focus on the photo on the left, restore it, colorize it, and make it full screen in landscape mode. And this is what it produced. That's amazing, right? It was able to extract that image that it was obscured on the corner and make it full screen and fill in the sides because this image is in portrait mode and now it's in landscape mode. And then I asked it to restore and colorize it. Uh, ultra realistic, high quality. I gave it another pass and then it just made it even better with this pass. But it's just, uh, it's just incredible that it's able to follow my prompts exactly what I wanted. So this next example, uh, this one was really what stood out to me between Sea Dream and Nano Banana. Um, for this example, I asked it to change it to anime style, right? And then it was able to do anime style. I asked it to do Lego style. It was able to do Lego style. And then Pixar style, it was able to do that. So when I tested this out with Nano Banana, it wasn't able to do any of these styles. For some reason, it just, it, the output was just weird and it wasn't doing any of that. But with Sea Dream, this is one of the advantages that Sea Dream has over Nano Banana. It's able to create these different types of styles for the image that you want. So, and you can see that the images are intact. All the poses are the same. It's just the style is very different. This Lego one's my favorite, even though it's not fully Lego, but still, you know, it's 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 a really great style. Uh, this is the Pixar style. It's really great. All the poses are the same. The characters are the same. It's really incredible. Uh, for this next one, I asked it to switch positions for each of the different animals. So I told, I gave it the prompt, reorder the position so the corgi is on the left, the two cats in the middle, and the poodle on the right. And this was the result. I mean, it's the same dogs, it's the same animals, it's just different positions, different poses, and it, it looks the same. Although, one little small difference, this dog, this poodle is a little bit lighter than this one here. But besides that, I think... I think it got everything else right. I mean, it's pretty incredible. Uh, so this next one, I just took a screenshot from Google Maps, overhead view of the Walt Disney Concert Hall, and I gave it a prompt, make a photo of the front of this building, wide angle shot. And this is the result. Uh, this is not taken from Google. It's not taken from anywhere else. This was the result from Sea Dream. So it looks exactly the same. So if, <clears throat> if we were to Google Walt Disney Concert Hall, go to images, uh, these are the images of the concert hall and yeah you can see that it kind of got it the same i think there's like some minor differences that are some small things that are different but i think overall is the same but for this next example i gave it the i gave it this image and i asked it to change the text change the top text to say jay-z and the bottom text to say create and it was able to keep the same textile the same design the same colors it's just different different words and it was in it's pretty incredible this next one I just gave it a blank invitation card and I asked it to write. I asked it to write, you're invited to our beautiful wedding celebration in cursive handwritten text. Make it centered and aligned. And it was able to do that. You're invited to our beautiful wedding celebration. And notice how I had the lowercase t here in two. It was able to transfer that on there. So it didn't capital capitalize that t, which is it followed the prompt exactly what I asked. So it's pretty incredible. For this next one, I just asked it to, I just took this image from Pexels and I asked it to zoom in, waist up shot of this man. And it gave me this result. The pose is different. This guy's holding his hand up and holding a fish. And this one, he looks like he's fishing. So the poses are different. But if you take a look at the background, the background is exactly the same. For this last one, I just grabbed this image from Pexels and I told it to turn it into a golden hour sunset. And this was the result. Golden hour sunset. Perfect for a gondola ride. 
So those are the 13 examples. Um, again, I'm going to leave the link down in the description. Let me know what you think. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit the subscribe button because I've got a lot more coming from tutorials and deep dives to the latest AI tools, trends, and creative tricks. I'm also going to release a new article comparing Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4.0 and see which one produces the best results with the same prompt. So follow me for more content like that.